Go Buster! Look, it's Jessie the Jeep. She's got a cake. Wow, that looks tasty. But here comes Bandit Bus. He looks mischievous. Oh no! He's eating Jessie's cake. That's not fair at all. Poor Jesse. There's Buster the bus. And there's Bandit, driving too fast. <sighs> Look, Buster's gone to play with Scout. He's given her a soccer ball as a present. Look at Scout go! Look at that! Diggly is building a colorful tower. But here comes Bandit. I wonder what that awful bully is up to. <laughs> oh no! He's knocked over Diggly's tower. Bandit is a menace. Uh-oh, he's seen Scout's ball. Bandit is stealing the ball for himself. What a bully! Buster wants to do something. Poor Scout is really upset. Buster wants to help his friend. He's going to stand up to Bandit and get him to give the ball back. I don't think Bandit will listen to Buster. He's going to bully him instead. It's not fair. But wait, Jesse is standing beside Buster. Scout is here to help too. They're all fed up with Bandit being a bully. There's Otis, the police car, enjoying an ice cream. Oops, Bandit has backed into Otis. Otis looks mad. Serves Bandit right, being mean to everyone. Now Buster, Scout, and Jesse can play soccer in peace. Whoa! Buster and his friends have been out trick-or-treating for Halloween. <laughs> Buster has lots of tasty sweets in his bucket. <laughs> Grandpa reminds Buster that he shouldn't eat too many sweets at once. Now Buster's up in his room. But now, no one is watching. He's eating all the sweets he can. Ouch! That really hurt! Oh no! Buster has a wobbly tooth! That's really frightening! Mommy's come to fetch Buster. It's dinner time! But he's hiding his wobbly tooth. I don't think he wants anyone to know! Dinner's ready! Lots of tasty vegetables! But Buster doesn't want to eat. Mommy can tell something has upset Buster. He's showing her his wobbly tooth. Aw. Grandpa knows what to do. He tells Buster to take a bite of that sweet corn. Look! Buster's tooth has fallen out. That wasn't so bad. Buster feels much better now. Now it's time for bed. <laughs> Mommy tells Buster to put the tooth under his pillow. Whilst he's asleep, the tooth fairy will come to collect it. Buster wakes up the next morning and... Whoa! A big gold star! Buster is going to wear that proudly. Now he knows there's nothing to worry about with a wobbly tooth. There's Buster and Scout! They're having great fun playing in all the muddy puddles. But, oh no! Poor Scout is feeling a bit sick. Aw, it's okay. They can play together again tomorrow. Now Buster is heading inside and grabbing a snack. But, oh dear, he's not washed his muddy wheels before eating that apple. That's not very clean. And he's left muddy wheel prints everywhere. The next morning, Mommy comes to wake up Buster. But, oh no! 
Buster doesn't look well at all. Poor Buster. Whoa, he's got a temperature. He'll have to stay home today to get better. Now it's time for some medicine. Buster doesn't like the look of it, but Mommy knows it'll help him get better. There, that wasn't so bad. Now Buster just has to get some rest. The next morning, Buster is feeling much better. Scout's feeling better too. They can go outside and play again. But wait, Mommy says they should wash their hands first so they won't get ill again. Good job, everyone. Wait, Mommy has another idea. They can wear these face masks too so they don't get sick. There! Now Buster and Scout are ready to play outside safely. They're so happy now that they're feeling better again. Hey there, Buster. My, you're looking messy today. It's so much fun to play in the muddy puddles. Come on now, Buster. Time to go to the car wash. You'll be squeaky clean again in no time. Hey there, Tony Truck. Whoops, he knocked out the power cable. Oh no! The car wash is turned off and Buster is stuck inside. Quick, Scout! Buster needs your help! He's really stuck tight. Maybe if you give him a push. Ugh, it's no good. He won't budge. It'll be okay, Buster. Scout's going to get help. Be brave. Wow, here comes Scout. And she's brought Ashley the fire truck, Amber the ambulance, and Otis the police car with her. You'll be okay now, Buster. The emergency vehicles are here to help. I think Ashley has a plan. Grab hold of that rope, Buster. They're going to drag you free. All together now, everybody. Heave! Hard as you can. Come on, everyone. What's this? Scout spotted the plug that got knocked out. Maybe if she plugs it back in. Yes! The car wash is back on, and Buster is free. Oh, thank goodness for that. Good teamwork, everybody. <laughs> Look, it's Buster the bus. But now he's a fish in the big blue sea. And look, there's a tiny baby shark. That crab is snapping his claws just like the baby shark's jaws. Buster wants to play with them. And look there, that must be the mommy shark. She's dancing with the crab. She looks like she's having so much fun. What fun! Look, it's Sham the shark. He must be the daddy. Now Sham is dancing excitedly with the crab. Buster is happy to see his old friend. Who's this? Glasses? Wrinkles? This must be Grandma Shark. <laughs> She's having a great time dancing with the crab too. <laughs> Look at her go. And this happy shark with a mustache? That must be Grandpa Shark. <laughs> He's having such a good time. Now Buster has met the whole shark family. Now Sham and Buster are playing together in the ocean. They're swimming through the coral and then up towards the surface. Aw, but the poor little crab can't keep up. Look at Buster and Sham jump gracefully out of the water. But the little crab is having a tough time. Up Buster jumps. Whoa! Watch out, little crab! Aw, Buster wants to play together. Now all three of them can swim together. Oh dear, Buster looks all worn out. Sham and the crab are saying goodbye. They've had such a nice day. 
Oh, it was all a dream. Or was it? There's the little crab again. Hey there, Buster. Looks like a hot day out in the desert. Whoa, look at that ahead. A big mountain with smoke rising from the top. What was that? It's Frida the sports car. She's speeding off toward the smoky mountain. I think she wants to race. Buster and Rita are speeding across the desert together. Rita is faster. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Buster is using that ramp to jump after Rita. Phew, that was a fun race to the top. But look, what's that? Hot molten lava? I think this is a volcano. It could erupt at any moment. Uh-oh, Buster, careful of that rock. Oh no, it's fallen into the lava. Phew, nothing happened. Oh no, I think the volcano is erupting. Quick guys, get out of there. Oh no, there are fireballs shooting out of the volcano. Look out, they'll be really hot. Oh no, Rita is stuck in the sand. Buster is being brave and going to help his new friend. Great job, Buster. Now quickly, drive away. Faster, faster. Phew, that was a close one. Here's Ashley the fire truck. She doesn't look pleased. She's going to have to put out all the fire. Buster and Rita aren't saying anything. They didn't mean to set the volcano off. That was close, but Buster made a brand new friend along the way. Bye, Buster. Bye, Rita. Buster and Diggly are having so much fun playing with that remote-controlled car. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Look at it go. Look, there's Mommy. She's coming to tell them lunch is ready. And she's reminding Buster to put his toys away. Buster is putting the controller away, but look, the car is still outside. Now Buster and Diggly are back to carry on playing, but oh no, they can't see the toy car anywhere. Where could it be? Could it be in the toy box? No, maybe it's in the dustbin. No. Maybe it's buried under the autumn leaves. It must be here somewhere. Wait, I think Buster has an idea. If they use the control, listen. The car's engine. Where's the noise coming from? Under that pile of leaves? <laughs> Hooray! They found the toy car! But wait, now the controller is missing! Where did it go? Oh, there it is! Well spotted, Buster! Now Diggly and Buster can have fun playing with their remote-controlled car again! But this time, they'll remember to put their toys back in the toy box when they're finished with them! Good job. <laughs> Look, it's Buster, Scout, and Diggly. It's Christmas Eve, and they're excited for Santa to arrive with the presents. Time for bed, guys. Santa won't come if you're still wide awake. Uh-oh, it's that sneaky villain bandit bus. What's he up to this time? There's Santa, putting the presents under the tree. He must be very busy tonight. Oh no! Bandit is stealing all the presents from under the tree. What a villain he is! Now he's sneaking away. Whoops! Serves Bandit right. What's he seen now? The golden Christmas star. 
He's going to steal that as well. Oh, dear. He's trying to pull it right off the tree. Look. Now Banda is all tangled up. It'll take him ages to get untangled. It's taken all night, but Banda is finally free. Now he's sneaking away with the presents. Oh. Oh, poor Buster. All the presents have been stolen. He looks so upset. Bandit really is the worst. But wait, what's this? What's Bandit doing? Look, Bandit is putting all the presents back under the tree. Maybe he's not so mean huh? after all. All the presents are there after all. Buster is so happy. Merry Christmas! <laughs> There's Santa. He doesn't look very pleased with Bandit. But what's this? He puts a present for Bandit under the tree, too. Bandit earned it by giving the presents back. You did the right thing, Bandit. Merry Christmas! <laughs> hey there, Buster. What's that poster there? Hmm, a fire truck? Sure looks exciting, doesn't it? Look, it's Ashley the fire truck. <laughs> I think Buster wants to join the fire brigade. Uh... <laughs> Go on, Buster. Time to get ready for your first day on the job. Just a few little changes and... <laughs> wow, look at that. Buster really is a fire truck. He's got a ladder, a siren, and a water hose. Uh-oh, the fire alarm. There's a fire somewhere. Ashley has to go and take care of it. You stay here, Buster. Hey, it's Tony the truck. Watch out for that puddle. Oh, no! That falling box started a fire at the fire station. What are we going to do? <gasps> Quick, Buster the fire truck, put that fire out. Uh-oh, the fire has spread to the roof. Keep blasting water, Buster. Hooray, Robin is here to help. And Ashley's back too. <gasps> You can do it if you work together. Two fire trucks are better than one. Phew! The fire is out at last. Nice work, Buster and Ashley. <laughs> Look, it's that poster again. Now it's Buster on the poster. Whoa, you really are a hero, Buster. Hey there, Buster. Whoa. Look at all the spooky Halloween decorations. Spiders? Jack-o'-lanterns? Creepy! Uh-oh, what's that? It's so big and dark. Oh, I think Buster is really scared. Don't be frightened, Buster. It's just your shadow. See? It's just the lighting shining past you. Pretty cool, isn't it? I think this is the right way to go home. Let's go, Buster. Oh no, the lightning struck the street lamp. Now all the lights are going out. Poor Buster. I think he's scared of the dark. But wait, what's that? The full moon's come out. That'll light up the whole town like a big lantern. Come on, Buster, off we go. Oh dear me. Clouds are moving over the moon again. And now there's a lightning storm coming. Oh no, Buster is scared of the storm too. Come on, Buster, you can be brave. It's just thunder and lightning. That's right, it's not scary, it's spectacular. Nice one, Buster. You were brave and faced your fears. Look, it's Tony the truck. 
looks even more frightened by the storm than Buster. Good job, Buster. Go and help Tony. Make him feel safe. There's no need to be afraid. See? The storm is over and the moon is back. And that's just your shadow. Happy Halloween, Buster and Tony. <laughs> hey, Buster. <laughs> Looks like another day to have fun. Oh, no. It's Bandit the bus. Buster, watch out. You will crash. Wait, what's happening? Oh, wow. You're floating in the air. Oh. <laughs> this is incredible, Buster. Hmm? <laughs> I wonder if you can fly! Oh, wow, you've turned into a superhero. You are so fast. Super Buster is here. Woohoo! What has Buster seen? It's Otis the police car. I wonder what Otis is looking for inside the tunnel. Wait, it's Bandit the bus. What is he up to? This doesn't look good. Oh no, he's pushed the boulder over the edge and trapped Otis in the tunnel. You've got to save him, Buster. You can't let Bandit the bus get away with this. That boulder looks very heavy. It's okay, Buster. You're a superhero now. You can save him. Oh, Buster, your eyes. Wow, you have laser vision. Well done, Buster. You've set Otis free. Now let's catch that naughty Bandit bus. There's Bandit. Looks like he's up to no good again. Scout, watch out. Poor Scout. <laughs> Look who it is. You're in trouble now. Super Buster is here. Buster, you can stop him. <laughs> Super Buster is too strong for Bandit. That should stop him. Phew. Now Buster just needs to help Scout out of the <laughs> pond. <laughs> Look at Bandit. He's stuck now. Oh, it was all just a daydream. I don't think the teacher is very happy. It's a sunny day in the park, and everyone is having a great time playing together. Look, Buster has a skipping rope. Ready, Buster? That's it. Hop over the rope. Phew, that was tiring. What a great day. And now it's time to go home. But, uh-oh, that's an awful lot of mess they've left behind. Buster doesn't want to clean up. But look, Scout and Diggly are stopping him. They can't leave all this behind without cleaning up. It won't take long to clean up. It could even be fun. Scout's grabbing the skipping rope to show how easy it is. All the toys need to go back into the toy box. <laughs> Bouncing the soccer ball between them. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Diggly's collecting up all the small toys. Passing the toy box between them. This is almost like a game. Next, the cone. Look, Scout's catching them on her bonnet. Now Buster's collapsing the goal. Nice work. Everything is back in the toy box. You're all done. That wasn't so hard. Oops, Buster nudged the toy box, and now it's rolling off down the hill. Buster, Scout, and Diggly are all chasing after it as fast as they can. The toy box is tumbling off the road. Oh no, it's fallen over, and all the toys have spilled out. After all that hard work, what's Scout up to? <laughs> She's right, they can have just as much fun cleaning it up all over again. Everything will be cleaned up again in no time. There! Well done, everyone! <laughs> Gather round and hear the fairy tale of Buster the Wizard. There's Buster the bus. Looks like he's driving through the enchanted forest. But wait, what's this by the road? I think it's a spell book. Wow, Buster can use that to do magic. Look! It's Scout, Terry, and Jesse in the town square. I think Buster's going to try casting some spells. Let's see now. 
Whoa! A wizard's hat! Buster really is doing magic! I wonder what spell Buster can use to help Terry. Abracadabra! Wow! Buster made the plants grow! Nice work, wizard Buster! <laughs> what other spells are in the spell book? The bee spell? <laughs> oh, look! Buster turned Scout into a bee! She's having so much fun flying around! I think Jessie wants to fly too! What spells are there for that? Bubbles? Cool! Jessie's floating around in her own bubble! Nice work, Wizard Buster! Oh, look, he's very sleepy! Time for a nap, Buster! Uh-oh! I think something's gone wrong! The magic is out of control! Quick, Buster! You've got to put everything back to normal! Hurry, Buster! All the spells are canceled. But I don't think Buster's friends are very happy with him. Buster's putting the spell book back where he found it. And that's the end of the fairy tale of Buster the Wizard. Buster the bus and Scout the car are playing soccer. Buster shoots. Goal! Well done, Buster. Great work. Whoa, it's a soccer bus. He plays for the big bus soccer team. He wants Buster to come try out for the team. But oh no, Buster is too shy. Scout encourages him, and Buster says okay. He'll come to the big game tomorrow. Scout is very proud of her friend, but Buster is still nervous. That night, Buster is sleeping peacefully in his garage. Buster dreams he's playing on the big bus soccer team. The game starts, but oh dear, the buses play rough. Now it's Buster's turn in goal. He tries to save it, but oh dear, the soccer buses don't look very impressed. Poor Buster, he's tried so hard. Phew, it was just a bad dream. But now Buster's even more nervous about trying out for the team. Scout does her best to encourage him. Buster can do it. She believes in him. <laughs> now it's time for the big game. Robin blows his whistle and the game begins. Oh no, the red bus has been injured. They can't play anymore. Buster will have to step in. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Buster kicks the ball, and the game goes on. Buster is going in goal now. The blue bus takes a shot and... Buster saved it! Well done, Buster! You did so well! Hooray! That was so much fun! Hooray! It's time for the big race! Diggly, Scout, and Buster are going to race to see who wins the cup. Oh, Bandit is racing too! Ready? Steady, go! And they're off! Buster's driving as fast as he can, and his wheels are going round and round. Bandit's in the lead, but Buster is passing him. Hooray! Buster's in the lead! Everyone is driving really fast! Look out! Scout is speeding ahead! Scout's taking the lead! Uh-oh, a low bridge! Little Scout can fit under, but everyone else will have to go around. Buster and Diggly have reached a river. How will they cross? Nice! Diggly made a bridge! It was a shortcut. Now they've caught up with Scout. There's Bandit. Oh no! That's an oil barrel spilling all over the road. Scout and Diggly are sliding on the oil. What a cheater! But Buster is still racing. He's catching Bandit. Bandit skidding. He ended up in that pond. Serves him right. There's the finish line. Buster speeding ahead. Hooray! Buster won! And as his prize, he can have a nice tasty ice cream. 
And of course, the winner's cup. Buster the bus and Scout the car are playing soccer. Buster shoots. Goal! Well done, Buster. Great work. Whoa, it's a soccer bus. He plays for the big bus soccer team. He wants Buster to come try out for the team. But oh no, Buster is too shy. Scout encourages him and Buster says okay. He'll come to the big game tomorrow. Scout is very proud of her friend, but Buster is still nervous. That night, Buster is sleeping peacefully in his garage. Buster dreams he's playing on the big bus soccer team. The game starts, but oh dear, the buses play rough. Now it's Buster's turn in goal. He tries to save it, but oh dear, the soccer buses don't look very impressed. Poor Buster, he's tried so hard. Phew, it was just a bad dream. But now Buster's even more nervous about trying out for the team. Scout does her best to encourage him. Buster can do it. She believes in him. Now it's time for the big game. Robin blows his whistle and the game begins. Oh no, the red bus has been injured. They can't play anymore. Buster will have to step in. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Buster kicks the ball and the game goes on. Buster is going in goal now. The blue bus takes a shot and... Buster saved it! Well done, Buster! You did so well! Hooray! That was so much fun! It's time for Buster to go to school. He mustn't forget his packed lunch. There's Scout. They don't want to be late. But who's this? A little fire truck? Buster is waving hello. At school, the teacher has a surprise. This is Ash. He's the new kid in school. He's going to be joining their class. Ash is going to Buster because he waved hello. He's so excited to have made a new friend already. Now today, the children are going to learn about parking. The teacher is showing them how to do it properly. Now it's their turn to try. Scout's got it. And Buster. Oh. Ash is sticking really close to his new friend. He's following Buster wherever he goes. He doesn't understand Buster is trying to park. Oh dear, I think he's got on Buster's nerves a bit. Buster wanted some space, but Ash didn't understand. At break time, Buster and Scout are playing. Aw, poor Ash has no friends to play with. But Buster and Scout have an idea. Ash can play with them. They're friends now after all. Now they're all playing together. Whoa, good shot, Ash. It's so nice to make new friends.